you can tell it to use something as a Git repository. And so I'm just going to come into, I have a folder already set up. It stores the files by database and then definition type, right? And it, it does the people code, HTML, the SQL. But what it's really for is if I come in and I just open up another one of these, so it, it sees it, it's already checked this in to the Git repository. Um, it's transparent Whoa. to you. Um, but then if you do, you know, I'm just going to make a new thing here, local string test, right? I saved it. It put that in the Git repository. Whoa. And then control shift P, or if you're on a Mac going through remote desktops, command shift P, I think. We can re revert to a previous version and it will show you the date and time that it was snapshotted. You can diff and you can see that if I revert to this, it's going to delete that line. That is and then, nice. If you want it, revert to selected. That's amazing. Great job, Tim. That's amazing. 